Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends, and I'm at the Morningstar Invest Conference in Chicago with director of research for Morningstar, Paul Justice. Paul, great great conference and, and thanks for spending a few minutes with me. Tom, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. We've got a lot of energy in the room. I'm glad you can make it. So give us maybe two or three things that you're most surprised about and you're most excited about here at the conference today because there's a lot going on. There's so much going on. I, I, I think that there's so many elements that I really appreciate today. You know, we just had a great announcement from Vanguard the other day talking about the competition going on in the ETF space. They're changing indexes to lower fees, and all these people are sitting in the same room. People don't appreciate how passionate all these providers are around their products, how they're trying to bring investors in, and how passionate the investors are about yeah. them. Some of the most underappreciated people in the world is the index fund manager, but th they do a lot of things behind the scenes, and they're always looking to, to you know, really sneak past the competition in any way that they can. And great end result is that investors are constantly winning. This has got to be the most competitive asset class space in, in the world right now is U.S. listed ETFs. It's been fantastic. So I think that's a great element. Great. And, and you, can, you can see it with the response. We, we, we've really dedicated a track to, to, to financial advisors, RIAs, who are going out and building ETF portfolios. Yes. The interaction they're having with the, with the fund providers and us, what they're looking for in research, and you know, detailing out what they like and don't like about products. It's just, it, it's raised the level of dialogue at, at this conference to a level that, that I haven't seen anywhere else. It, it's been great. A lot of people, as you mentioned, you know, indexing, ETFs, mm -hmm. you know, traditionally people look at it and say, hey, it's boring. Nothing boring going on over here. I mean, it's exciting. And for, as far as competition, people are taking the gloves off and they're going at it, yeah. right? And, and again, the, the, the winner in all of that, it's always the investor, you know? But yeah. there, there's a lot at stake for some of these people, you know? We, we've, we've seen some, some providers go because they couldn't hack it with the big boys. They have, they pulled off the gloves. Right. They're fighting, they want to make sure they're winning your loyalty, and they're doing it through constructing the best indexes, providing the funds the best way they can, dropping the fees to the bottom. Right. And I, I think it's great. You also announced some awards recently, mm -hmm. just today. Yes. Yeah, so just, yeah, it was less than an hour ago, I think we made the announcement. So what we're doing now is Morningstar category winners for ETFs. So we're looking across 32 different categories and providing awards to funds, both on a retail level and an institutional level, because what we realize is that there's no one best ETF in any of these categories. It depends on circumstances around the investor. We've got institutional folks who are looking to move a lot of money and maybe hold for a short period of time versus some of the retail crowd who've really adopted ETFs who are looking for the lowest cost option over a longer period of time. So we combined a lot of proprietary metrics we have, but simplified it with some of these award designations. You know, you're a category winner in some space, and we narrowed it down to five different levels of, uh, of, of provider awards then going across U.S. stock, international stocks, fixed income and commodities to say who's given that best investor experience in aggregate. So you go to Morningstar.com, that they will have those designations, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and what I'd like to point out to investors is that just because it's, it, it's a category winner doesn't mean it's the right product for you, right. but it's certainly one you want to give strong consideration to. You should read through the research report, do some of your own due diligence, make sure that our thinking is lining up with yours. There's a good chance it might be the right one, but you know, make sure that you're identifying which segment you fall into, and it helps you identify the providers who really have your best interests in mind. Let's take a minute and talk about the ETF third-party managers, because mm -hmm. that's exploding. Sure. So the average advisor out there has 1,200 ETFs to kind of weed through and their back office, their plumbing. Some are just saying, look, I'm looking for another discipline. If somebody else can do it for me, I'll sign on. Is that what's going on? Absolutely. So many advisors, you know, they're very good at, at, at aggregating assets and managing that, that relationship they have with the client. Yeah. But some of them would say, you know, I recognize there may be somebody out there who's really, you know, he's keen at picking what investments are going to fit in there and doing that part. So there's a lot of, there's some outsourcing going out there. We've decentralized a lot of investment management. And this is one of the areas that's really growing, finding the power users of ETFs that bring the portfolios together and give you a solution. And I think that's, that's going to be a key driver of growth within ETF assets and bringing great portfolios to clients at the end. Great. Thanks for your time. Paul Justice, Director of Research for Morningstar. I'm Tom Lydon, Editor of ETF Trends.